I can't tell you how excited I am to be presenting uh, this book to you today. It's Oclith, Labyrinthus Archidoxae, Volume 0, Omniform by Joseph Uccello. Now, you might recognize that name, Joseph Uccello, from a previous review that I did on um, uh, the Teatrum Chemicum Britannicum by uh, Ouroboros Press. This is Three Hands Press. Uh, in collaboration with Joseph Uccello's own publishing house, uh, which is Viatorum, Viatorium, Viatorium. Um, and uh, this is the first in a series of seven books planned. Uh, the first two are out. Um, I'll be doing a review of um, the second volume, uh, probably at the end of April, beginning of May. Uh, but I really, really could not wait to show you this. It's one of the most beautiful books that I've ever seen. I saw it in a shop in um, in London, in um, uh, in Watkins Books, of course. Uh, where else? Um, and and I I knew I had to have it. And um, the idea is that Joseph Uccello believes that font matters. Okay, he's a he's a typesetter by by um, by trade. Um, uh, he's the one who did all the typesetting on on the um, at, on the theatrum, and um, and he has taken some of the old uh, alchemical texts and. Um, uh, and given them a new life <laughs> in the form of of this of this uh, beautiful work of art look how gorgeous that is look look how much care has been put into this into this cover which is in turn covered by this gorgeous dust cover i mean there is not an inch of this book which is not utterly beautiful um let me show you what's going on inside. So this is, um, uh, it's mainly Paracelsus um, and a couple of other alchemical writers. Um, and, uh, and, and the whole thing has been just completely freshly typeset with careful attention to each text, thinking what what look would best showcase uh, the information contained in that text? So I'm just briefly going over the um, uh, the table of comment of contents there for you. You can see that it's uh, the three books of philosophy uh, by Paracelsus. Uh, so the first, second, and third books, and then Oswald Kroll of the True Physic, uh, the Microcosm or Little World Man. Paracelsus, um, again, here of persons and spirits wandering under the earth on imagination. Uh, another Paracelsus, Hermetic Astronomy. Uh, as, uh, the Names of the Philosopher's Stone here by William Grattacoli and Martinus Brulandus. I'm pretending I know how to pronounce those names. No idea. Uh, Stephanus of Alexandria, the Hermetic Hymn, and then a few uh, appendices there which are which are worth a worth a visit as well. So there's a, it starts off with a uh, with a, a lovely introduction by Joseph Uccello where he talks about um, the 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 spirit of uh, of these texts and and how these are are, are living living things uh, which really deserve fresh bodies, right? Uh, fresh um, fresh presentations. Now, what I really, really like here, obviously, as well as the care taken with the um, with the typesetting, is the art. All this beautiful, beautiful art by Joseph Uccello himself. Um, it's... Look at that. And it's uh, the book is. If I flick through, you'll see that actually there's a huge amount of art. Uh, 
I'll, um, I'll pause on a couple of these, but I just wanted to show you how densely packed um, this is with, with his very, very high quality um, artwork. There we go. So there we are. So you have the three books of philosophy and uh, yeah, to give you a, to give you an idea of what that looks like, um, you have the, the, the notes in the, in the margins there. Very nice, very clear, very easy to read. And the paper, the paper is really, really nice. Um, I've, uh, you know, I've, I've had a, the, the chance to, to see a few uh, of these very high quality um, esoteric books recently. And I think this is probably my favorite um, thickness, um, color, uh, texture. I mean, it's, it's just lovely, lovely paper. Um, sometimes it's just a little bit too thick. Sometimes it's a little bit too thin. This is just right, just right. It opens up just fine. Um, obviously, you can see it's it's uh, it's sewn binding. I just uh, get in a little bit close here on the on the artwork. Gorgeous, really stunning. Yeah, spectacular. Um, let me see if I can find some of the uh, some of the later stuff over here. I think there's a there's a full page. So these are actually close-ups of uh, where, is it? where is it? It's hiding. Do, 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 do. <laughs> there it is. Here's the full. Work. And then, of course, you've got those close-ups you can see the, the the insane amount of detail <laughs> that's gone into this so so beautiful So I'll, I won't spoil everything. It's uh, there. There is there's so much, <laughs> so much going on in here, um, and uh, and of course not to forget the um, the the main work, which is which is the font. The main work. <laughs> it's uh, it's certainly uh, one of the highlights. There we go. So an absolutely gem, an absolutely gem, an absolutely beautiful gem of a book, uh, which I'm, I'm very, very amazed <laughs> to be holding. It's, uh, it's uh, absolutely lovely. 
very, very pleased. A very nice um, index there. There's a list of illustrations at the very end. You can see that there's plenty there. There we go. And uh, yeah, this is a um, hand numbered uh, number 438 of 555 books in existence. And I got one of them. There we go. <laughs> Thank you as always for watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. And, uh, uh, and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, see you very soon. <laughs> Bye.